lightly flour on one side only. This just helps create that sort of crispy skim, which is what we're looking for. And then I'm going to finish them through the oven. They're just going to be kept warm while we cook the tomatoes and the shrimps together in the same pan. I suggest that you put two to three tablespoons of oil in here. So you've got enough to create that really sort of crunchy finish to the red mullet itself. So while we're waiting for that, there's one other flavour I'm also going to be adding to this, and it's garlic. So I'm just going to chop this, you notice. I'm not really crushing it, a little bit more chunky. So every now and again, you just get that little bite. So just one clove will be plenty. I don't want anything to really mask this fish. It's only there to help it along, I think. Yes, that sounds OK, just about right. They're probably going to take maximum five to six minutes in the pan just to crisp up really well, because that's the most important thing. I want to get that nice crunch happening on the skin itself. And then we'll quickly flip them over without sealing on the flesh side straight onto this tray. So consequently, while we're running them through the oven, that's how they're going to continue to cook. And you only need that oven on, well, not too high, probably a gas mark five. It's about 190 degrees, but lower, of course, if you've got a convection oven. There we have the red mullet. You can see now, just starting to crisp up around the outside there. Let's pop them into the oven. Literally, a couple of minutes and they're going to be ready. So, return some heat into this pan. And remember, there's quite a lot of olive oil in there already. So let's go in with the shrimps and start to warm them through. So you can hear that all happening. Toss those in the oil. And now, lots and lots of tomato. Look at that. Just an abundance of flavour there, isn't there? The juices will mix with the olive oil, consequently almost making a dressing for me. Now, I like to add extra olive oil here to create that dressing. We're going to have an extra five tablespoons. So in total, we've used eight tablespoons of olive oil here. But think about it, for four people, that's not an awful lot, just two tablespoons a portion. And of course, with the juices we're going to take from the shrimps, from the tomatoes, that's going to create our flavour. Let's add our garlic, so that can just cook a little bit into the dish. Something else we shouldn't ignore, certainly when you're in August, is herbs. Here, well, let me show you first. I've got some lovely chervil, there's some flat parsley. These have just been picked. Some basil leaves, tarragon leaves, and some chives. Right, I think we're almost ready. We can turn it out now and just add the lemon juice to it. And some pepper. Salt. This is the kind of texture we should be looking for. I do like it if they're starting to break around the outside. That's how we're starting to release all of their juices into the dressing itself. And you can see they've taken on almost the colour of the tomato as well. Right, herbs. It's time to remove the fish from the oven and they are cooked, literally in that time. You'll notice there's no bubbling, there's no sizzling, there's just a little crispy topping. So underneath they're going to be really, really succulent to eat. And I did say lots of tomatoes and I really wasn't joking, was I? I mean, this is just sheer extravagance. And now all we're going to do, just sit the fillets across the top. So, there we are.